Hi, I'm Luca. We're outside the beautiful Royal Opera House in central London, and today I'm interviewing Ender Walsh, an Irish playwright with awards coming out of his ears. His stage version of the film Once has won eight Tony Awards and a Grammy. He writes films like Hunger, the one with Michael Fassbender in it, and he worked with David Bowie on his musical Lazarus. He's currently rehearsing for a play he's written and directed. Let's go talk to him. Hi, Ender. Um, hey. Can you tell me who you are and what you do? Uh, I'm Ender Walsh, and I'm a playwright and sometimes screenwriter. How do the ideas come to you? Is it suddenly you just think, wow, I want to do this? Or mm -hmm. are you in your pajamas and you just get up <laughs> and you have this idea? No, I'm sort of, I think ideas come from, from different places. Sometimes, sometimes they come as dreams. And you have a, and sometimes it's an image that you want to you want to capture. So they come from various things, but usually when you start writing, you end up writing about yourself. So your first sort of idea is like you know of another story, but then you end up writing about. What yourself. kind of based based on yourself? Or yeah, I think every writer ends up sort of talking about themselves personally. So you said um, that sometimes they come to you in your dreams. Mm -hmm. How, because I never remember my dreams. Would you, <laughs> would you just, do you have like a notepad by your bed and you'll wake up and suddenly you'll scribble down this idea? Yeah, well sometimes, I mean, well, I've got a dog now, so when I, when, I, when I walk my dog, a lot of the sort of ideas come in, you know, in the we'll graveyard and stuff dog. like that, and you think, oh, it's like there's something in there. But I never write down anything. I think the, the ideas that sort of like, the good ideas will always come back. So I might think about something for two years, I'll be working on other things. I might think about it for two years and then I'll say, OK, I'm ready to write it right now. I can write it now. I think my brain is ready to write it. And then once you've, once you've decided that you're going to do that idea, then is it all done in a day so you'll suddenly go on your laptop and just start typing? It, and, does, go, it does go fast. I'm, I mean, it's not exactly a day, but I mean, it, 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 it will take about sort of a few weeks, you know, to, to write. They write sort of very, very fast. You do it kind of because you enjoy it, not doing yeah. it because you know that well, you're I doing started, it Well, I started work. writing when I was 14, and I started writing short stories and poetry when I was 14, and a lot of it was to sort of, to escape who I am, you know, so, so I'm, you know, I'm like a middle-aged guy now, and I've been doing the same job since I was 14. You know, it's quite a lonely life just being in a, in a, in a house, just writing a story and then mm. giving it to someone and then going, oh, I'll just write another story. Yeah. Would you ever get it where you just like, say, be in a cafe and someone's serving you coffee, and you think that person would be an interesting person to write about? Yeah, there's lots, or what you do is there's a lot of energy, like people have got very different energies. And that's not so much how they say or how they act, yeah. but you can feel when you meet them. They hold themselves in a different way, yeah. and they become really interesting characters. Yeah. You know? How did you first get your work kind of out there? How did it kind of first start? Because I'm guessing you can't just go up and say to, to anyone, here's my play, can we put it on stage? No, but when I was about your age, like I started at the Saturday Club, which was the Dublin Youth Theatre, and everyone wanted to be an actor, and I didn't want to act, I wanted to write. Yeah. So I, I, I started writing these really terrible plays. Yeah. You know, like, and, and uh, but, but, but I wanted, I, I thought that's going to be my role. And then that's how, did you, that's how did you started. get noticed then? How did it? Because then the, the you know, uh, then someone saw, they saw something that I, I really, like a half an hour play that I wrote. And they went, oh God, you can write a play. And I was like, oh, can I? Because I didn't know what I was doing. It's sort of like, you know, it wasn't until I was in my late twenties, you mm. know, and years of poverty, you know, like and having <laughs> no money, yeah. but, but going, well, all I have is a passion for wanting to do this. Yeah. It wasn't that I was just writing and then giving it to a theatre to do. Mm. You know, we were we were right. I was writing it for a bunch of actors that I knew, and yeah. you know, so right from actually the very beginning, there was a lot of sort of we were controlling yeah. things. The work got larger and the plays got a little bit sort of bigger and they got a little bit more sort of serious and mm. and people thought, oh yeah, he's, and then suddenly, yeah. I mean, suddenly I'm a playwright and I'm yeah. going, God. How do you feel when you watch your own work? Is it? Do you feel a sense of pride? Is it like? I made that, or would you kind of think, oh, oh? I do feel pride, but it does take some time because the shock of actually watching something with a lot of people around you, it's actually terrifying. You can imagine what it's like. Yeah. Also, going, looking at something and going, God, it's not, it's not right. Yeah. You know, like, um, there's nothing worse than that. 
Finally, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to kids? I think to just write. I mean, to, to just keep on, you know, to just to keep on writing. There's so many, there's billions of stories out there to be written. Yeah. And, it's, and it's an extraordinary thing just to, to start with nothing and then to end up like a half an hour later with something. It's yeah. Something like we can all do. We can just sort of, you know, yeah. you know we can. And I suppose the practice makes perfect. It does. Or, yeah. make, or make, maybe practice makes it sort of imperfect, which is even better than perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice to meet you, Ender. Um, thank you very much for speaking. Thank with you, Ender. Thank you. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. Cool. Sorry, I got sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool meeting Ender. Not only was he brilliant and funny, but it was also great to learn a bit about becoming a playwright and seeing a director in action. See you next time.